What's up YouTube, my name is Kenneth. Today I want to show you guys what it's like to play with an augmented reality 3x3. So what you need to play with an AR 3x3 is you'll need to get this uh, Merge VR Cube. And this one was actually provided to me by Merge Cube. And uh, it's actually really cool. I've played with it for a little bit. They've got a bunch of apps. Some of them are free, some of them aren't. But uh, all you need is this cube. So here's the Merge Cube. You can see it's made out of this foam. Each side has a different design, and that's how the apps can uh, track this cube. It's almost like there's a different QR code on each side, and then uh, it can cover the kind of the cube and draw on top of it, and uh, that's how it creates the augmented reality. It augments the the image so that you can play these kind of different apps, and so uh, it has a bunch of apps. And uh, the three I've played with are uh, the first one was this one called Dig, which is kind of like Minecraft and you can like make your own little worlds and stuff like that. Uh, that was kind of neat. Uh, then another one I played with is this tilt cube where you're trying to like roll a marble along the sides of the cube. Uh, and that was pretty cool too. And then of course the one that I'm really interested in is the Rubik's Cube app, uh, which uh, just came out. It's released on Android and iOS uh, and it was $2 on Android. It's probably the same on iOS. So uh, yeah, let me show you guys the Rubik's Cube app for the Merge Cube. So here's the app, there's two modes. There's the phone mode and a virtual reality mode. The phone mode, in my opinion, is better. So it turns on the camera, you put the cube out there and then it turns it into a Rubik's cube. And first thing it does is it scrambles it right away and then uh, it starts a timer and then it's up to you to solve it. So you can see go, we've got a timer. There's no inspection time, which is too bad. Uh, I'd prefer a little bit of inspection time. Uh, but then you can hit the, the buttons on the phone to uh, ch to move the cube around. And you can see there's a lot of buttons here. Um, and it's for me, it's a little bit hard to tap the, you know, the right one uh, and hold the cube at the same time. But you can see it does a pretty decent job of uh, you know drawing the cube, tracking the cube. And uh, it looks really kind of cool uh, to be holding a, kind of a virtual cube in your hand, looking at your hand and seeing the cube, and then looking at your phone and seeing this augmented reality Rubik's cube in your hand, which is really kind of a cool gimmick. I mean, it's, it's really, you know, one of the coolest augmented reality experiences I've seen. I think it, it's pretty neat. When it comes to the actual like playing with the cube and trying to solve the cube, uh, you know, it suffers from pretty much the same problem that almost every like virtual Rubik's cube has, which is, you know, the Rubik's cube is meant to be like held and twisted in real life uh, and in a virtual space it can be very difficult to move it around and uh, you know, things, little things like the buttons when you tap two in a row, like say you have an algorithm and you, you can know what to do and you can't like tap the buttons fast enough because the animation of it twisting isn't quick enough. Uh, things like that uh, make it hard. And then all of these arrows are, you know, kind of hard to hit, you know, these corner arrows just right. And, you know, sometimes I'm maybe fat fingering them a little bit. So the actual plane is not that that great. Uh, I don't remember what my fastest time was, but um, it wasn't that fast, uh, which is too bad. Uh, but the one thing that is really kind of a bummer is, at least with most virtual kind of app, virtual cubing apps, you can do things like have high scores and leaderboards and stuff like that. And this one doesn't have it, and that's a real shame. Especially you know paying an extra two bucks for the app. Really wish it would have had kind of you know, high, uh, a leaderboard. So you could actually compete with friends and, and, and kind of get some rivalries. I'd love to see where I stand with everyone who's got, you know, this merge cube. I think I'd do pretty decently just because it's new. Obviously after a lot of speed cubers get it, I would drop down on the, the leaderboard. But, uh, you know, it's too bad that there's no leaderboards for this because that would have been a really good addition to the app for sure. So that's pretty much it for the augmented reality. But I do want to show you guys how to play with this cube with virtual reality. So let me show you guys how that works. So here's the virtual reality headset for the Merge Cube. You don't have to buy this unless you want to use the virtual reality features, obviously. Uh, but here's what this looks like. So here's the virtual reality headset. You can see you can you slide it on your head. You got the two little goggles here. And you slide your phone in through this slot. It's made out of the same kind of foam as the cube, which I think is really cool. And then you can see it's got this cutout here so that uh, you can use the augmented reality features. This allows the camera to work so that you're not just looking at the back of the foam. 
and then the camera can track the cube. So that's how that works. So uh, yeah, let me uh, put this on and show you guys what it's like. So once you get the headset on, uh, you can then get the cube and put it in front of it and now uh, you see virtual reality, which is really cool. So it's like you're in your room, you're uh, wearing virtual reality, you can take a look around and it's like there's a Rubik's Cube in my hand. And that's a really cool like virtual augmented reality experience. So I can turn around and I can see my desk with a bunch of cubes and there's my, uh, my you know, my virtual, re uh, my augmented reality cube in this kind of space. It's kind of interesting. It's a little bit, you know, gimmicky, but, uh, you know, I think it's a lot of fun to, uh, you know, maybe show around. This is actually a little bit worse uh, because you have to like use your, like this button here to like hit, hit the uh, arrows. You gotta like move the cursor around, find the uh, button you wanna hit and then click the arrow. And uh, yeah, it's a little annoying because you gotta like move your head to the cursor or you gotta like move your your cube to get right underneath the cursor so it's not that great of an experience um, to actually use but it's cool to see a cube in you know augmented and virtual reality which you know that's what I really like I think that's really neat so anyway that's kind of uh, how the virtual reality works um, you know like I said I think it's a cool gimmick <laughs> but uh, it's it's uh, definitely not a super enjoyable solving experience uh, and that's what I really like with puzzles I like to solve them <laughs> so that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at the augmented reality Rubik's Cube and seeing what it's like to try to solve a cube in augmented reality and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed definitely stay tuned for my next videos I'm working on some really cool stuff so definitely subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell so you're early and if you're early say hi thanks guys for watching and of course have a great day